Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to help you to understand the coordinate system of AutoCAD. As any other drawing software, AutoCAD has a simple coordinate system which contains the X axis, Y axis, and the Z axis. As you can see, since we are on the draft and annotation, which is for 2D drafting, there's only the Y and the X axis. But when we move to 3D basics or 3D modeling, click here, wait for it. You can see that we will have the Z axis. Let's move on for the 3D modeling. And then when we do this, and do this, you can see there is some kind of Z axis, right? Let's move here. As you can see, there is three axes X, Y, and Z. Let's go back to the normal mode drafting and annotation and go back. Sorry. Okay. Move, move, and then here we go again for the 2D drafting mode. Do the pan, and here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to explain how to enter the values and the coordination when drawing and using the line command. First of all, when you select the command line, you can see that they tell you to specify a first point. To use the coordinate entry, you have to enter two points, one for the X and one for the Y. So, when you press or when you type 0, comma, 0, then press enter. You can see that the line has been drawn from the origin point, which has the coordination 0 slash 0, which refers to 0x, 0y, and this is the origin point. Then now, they tell you to specify a next point. Let's assume that we want to uh, put this point for 10, then slash. Sorry, 10 again, click enter, there's something wrong, let's do it again, 10, slash, 10, enter. As you can see, we have this line that has drawn, but the coordination of the end point is 10 on the x-axis, and 10 on the y axis. And this is how we enter the values in the coordinate system. And we call this type of entry the absolute entry, which you specify the points according to a base point, which is the origin, according to what? To the zero point. But there's other kind of entries which we call the relative entry the relative coordinate entry so when you want to create a line starting from this point you have to type the sign at when you do this and then specify any other point I think we did something wrong we just this is escape do it again go to the line Start from this point, stop the restriction for the orthogonally, and they're gonna move normally now. Now let's type the sign at, and now you can enter any coordination values for the x and the y, but it's gonna be relative 
to this point, not to the origin, okay? So now when you type 10 slash 10, you will be drawing a line which has a 10 for the x-axis and a 10 on the y-axis. But starting from this point, from a relative point, and this is why we call it the relative coordinate entry. So, for example, if we want to create a square, starting from this point, okay, I want it to be a five unit square, okay? So we do this, we put it in here, we do what? The add sign. We go for 10 slash 10, enter, go to con control Z again, we want it what, we want this line to be going to what, to this direction, and the coordination of this point relative to this point will be what, not 10 slash 10, it will be 10 slash 0 because we're not going to move on the y axis, right? So when you type again at 10 slash 0 and press enter, you can see that we have a line created going to what? To the right. And has a coordination of 10 on the x axis and 0 on the y axis. Now we want it to move what? Vertically in this direction. So, what is the coordination of a square in this direction? It will be 0 on the x axis and 10 on the y axis. So, let's do it together. At 0 slash what 10 enter and as you can see now we have created this vertical line now as I told you in the previous lectures you can use the snapping mode to create this one or you can do it as the coordinate entry as we did right now so let's do it again we want a line we want to create a line moving from this point to the left, okay? So, what is the coordina coordination of the end point? It will be what? Minus 10 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. Let's do it again. Let's do it together. Type the at sign. We want it what? Minus 10 on the x-axis slash zero on the y-axis enter and now we have created this horizontal line moving from here to the left and has a 10 unit length now you can do just this put it for the end point or you can do it as we did in the coordinate entry let's do, do it together shift to, we'll type the add sign. Now, we're moving what? From this point down here. Okay? So, we'll do what? We'll move 0 on the x-axis slash minus 10 on the y-axis. Enter. And then press enter to in this session as you can see now we have created a square using the line command and not using the rectangular command and the relative coordinate entry is very easy and will help you in creating drawing and we'll do some exercises on this kind of commands in the next lecture so please wait for it now we have ended the coordinate entry. There is other thing which is called 
the what? Called the polar entry. And the polar entry is similar to this kind of entries, but what? It will have the length of the line and the angle that we want to create it. So, one, if you want to go to the line command, we want to start from this point, for example. Okay. And then you have to type what? At. Now, we have to what? To type the length of this line, not the coordination of the X and the Y, okay? The length of the line. I want the length of this line to be 15 unit. Then I do what? I go to this sign. You can see that this is the sign of the angle okay which is smaller than okay I want it to be in the 45 degree then now press enter as you can see I have created a line starting from this point having a length of 15 unit with an angle of 45 okay now as you can see using the at sign We'll do it relative to the start point, okay? But when you don't use the at sign, it will be calculated from the origin. Be careful. So, if you do this, select the line, and then specify the first point, not picking any point from here. Let's do 0 slash 0, enter. You can see that we have we have started from where from the origin point and then now don't type the at sign start putting the length which is for example 15 in the angle of 45 press enter as you can see this is the line we have created but since this line is in the same angle of the next line it was drawn on it so let's just do control Z and do it in, in another angle let's put what for example 15 okay not bad choice angle of 30 enter see now this is the line has been created from the origin point enter what if we did this? We picked any point on this line and then we, we did not put the at sign. Putting the at sign will do it relative to this point. But I forgot to type it for example. Let's just put 15 and then in the angle of what? Let's assume 45. Press enter. Since the AutoCAD is very smart, as you can see, they have created it without even asking, even if we did not type the at sign. In the older versions of AutoCAD, if you did not put the at sign, this line will be created like this. Like this. It will be messed up, okay? But since the newest version of AutoCAD are smart, they will create the line relative to the point that you picked previously. Okay? So let's do it again. The line, pick any point here. And then don't put the at sign. Let's do it 15 in the angle of what? 30. It will be created but this is for the polar entry but if you pick the line command and did it from this point and entered it without at using the coordinate entry like this let's assume that we want to move 10 in the X axis and 10 in the Y axis enter slash enter press enter see since it's smart, it will type what? See, 
the at sign for doing this. And this is very excellent and it will help you a lot. And that's it for the coordinate and the polar entry in AutoCAD. Very easy, very simple, and I will show you exercises on how to use these commands and these features of AutoCAD.